Oh, nobody warned me that I have to see myself while um <laughs> while doing this. Okay. Try and be very brave. It is a bit. Thank you so much for having me with you this morning. It's a real pleasure to be with you and to share something of the work of Watford Schools Trust. As I said, I'm called Fiona, and I'm one of four employees of Watford Schools Trust, who should be up on the screen, lovely. Uh, we are three schools workers, myself, Tricia, and Johanna, and we're all part-time, as is Alison, our part-time administrator. And those are our lovely faces. We have our next slide. This is our logo and our strap line. I should clarify that we go only into primary schools in the Watford area. So to be really accurate, we might say that our, our aim, our vision is to give every primary school child in Watford area a clear understanding of the Christian faith. We do this by coming like, alongside schools to offer lessons and assemblies often in line with the Hertfordshire RE syllabus. Last year, this meant that we went to 53 different schools. We delivered 395 lessons and shared something of the Christian faith with more than 10,000 children. We offer a whole variety of lessons and assemblies from reception through to year six. And we've just finished um, visiting the year five pupils, so they're about nine and 10 year olds, uh, sharing the Ten Commandments, talking about what um, the Ten Commandments mean, and also how Jesus taught us to love and forgive. Next week, we begin our Christmas lessons, and we do those with uh, several year groups, particularly years three and year six. And we don't do that alone. It's the financial, prayerful and volunteer support of churches, and individuals that make that possible. Most of what we do at Watford Schools Trust is delivering RE lessons and assemblies. And you can see on the screen, there's uh, my colleague Tricia going into uh, primary school teaching there. We consider our work to be a great privilege but it certainly comes with lots of challenges. We have to be very mindful of the fact that we never know what sort of classroom we're walking into, whether there are pupils there with really hard things going on for them. We have to be very skillful in communicating Christian concepts to children who often have no knowledge of the Christian faith. We've had children who think that Jesus was three months old when he died at Easter on the cross. They may have reached the age of 11, still unsure who the characters are in the Christmas story. We also need to be very wise. Not every Christian thinks or believes exactly the same things. Not all Christians practice their faith in the same way. But we represent all our brothers and sisters in faith when we enter a classroom as Watford schools workers. And most of all, we work on trust. And teachers and school leaders won't allow us to work in their schools if they don't trust us to work with sensitivity to the diverse religious and cultural heritage of their pupils. So it means we have to think very carefully about everything we're going to say to faithfully share the Christian message in that school environment. However, these challenges are so worth it when we see the way in which pupils respond to our lessons. It's an absolute joy to see 30 pupils open a children's Bible, perhaps for the first time, and read something of the Bible's story for themselves. It's a delight to share the story of David and Goliath or Daniel and the lion's den and help the children realize they're not alone when they're afraid. It's amazing to see the responses we get. I've brought with me two examples for you from an Easter lesson we do. So on this slide, 
This is an example of a pupil's work. Oh, can we go back one? Thank you. This is an example of a pupil's work um, that from a lesson we do with year two. So these children are about six or seven years old. We talk the children through the story of Holy Week. Then we ask them to draw two pictures, one happy moment from the story and one sad moment from the story. In fact, the other way around. So on the left is the sad moment and on the right is the happy moment. This pupil has drawn the Last Supper and they've written underneath, this is a sad moment because it was their last meal together. And then they've drawn a picture of Jesus and his friends. And Jesus is saying, I'm alive. Well, the friends are saying, he's alive. And I can't believe he's alive. I love that second picture because it's full of happiness. Even the sun is smiling. Can I have a next slide, please? This next uh, three pictures are from our work with year six. So our Easter lesson with year six. And they're the top end of the school. They're about uh, 10, 11 year olds. So we seek to explain to the children the why of Easter, what Christians believe about Jesus's saving work on the cross. As you can imagine, that's not easy. We use lots of visual aids and you can see in the middle of the picture there that that's a cross made up of the sins that the children have identified. We seek to help them see that Jesus died to clear up the mess, to take on himself the sins of the world. At the end of the lesson, the children um, get to design a T-shirt, which conveys the message of forgiveness and salvation. And there you can say, see, there's two examples of children's work from that lesson. So on the left hand side, it says salvation. And then it says underneath, he gets us to the top. And you've got sort of Jesus lifting someone up a mountain. And then on the other side, it says love. And we've got pictures of uh, heart. We talk about that friendship between us and God being brought back together with, with um, what Jesus does on the cross. So they've done their sort of the shaking hands to show that. And um, he is there every step of the way is the message that they've chosen to put on that T-shirt. So there's lots there that they take away and that they turn into beautiful artwork to show that they really um, are getting to grips with and understanding the message of salvation that Christians believe in. At the end of our lessons, we often ask the children to tell us one thing they've learned in the lesson. And we often hear responses like, I learned God cares about everyone. I learned Jesus has the power to heal. I learned that Jesus is alive today. The children's openness to these truths is one of the most fulfilling and joyful parts of my job. Have my next slide. Not only do we offer lessons and assemblies to school, but we also offer a week-long interactive experience called Explore. This used to be known as prayer space. We take over one room in a school and fill the space with around 40 activities. Each activity is designed to help the children think about their relationship with themselves or with their world or with God. We have fun activities like Thankful Ducks, thoughtful activities like the empty chair, and affirming activities like dressing up in royal robes, where we remind the children how special and important they are to God. For the first time this February, we held this in a church at St Luke's in Watford and invited pupils from a couple of local schools to visit. We were really pleased by the success of this and found it strengthened the church's links to their local primary schools. We're running another Explore, this time at St Peter's Church in January. Next, please. Over the years, we've developed really positive relationships with many schools and school staff, and they tell us how much they appreciate the input we offer. But of course, most of all, we love hearing what the children make of the activities. And here are two recent bits of feedback. 
The first is about prayer weaving, one of our activities that we offer at, thank you, at, um, at Explore. It says, the prayer weaving made me think of something I wanted to say to God. So this is an example of how a very simple activity enabled a child to access prayer. And then the second is to do with It's Your Move, which is our project we do right at the end of year six with pupils about to move into secondary school, thinking about their secondary transfer. And this pupil has said, it was a wonderful experience. When we learned about secondary school, it really helped my nerves. So hopefully what I've shared has made you excited maybe to know a bit more, to become a bit more involved with what the schools trust. If so, here are some ways that you could deepen your partnership with us. The first is to pray. We can add you to our mailing list where once every half term roughly, you'll get an email with a list of the schools that we're visiting and when we're doing so. It would be wonderful if you prayed for the schools you know when we're visiting them. I know obviously you're, you're very close physically to Warrendale, Oxywood and Greenfields, but there might be other schools that you're connected with more personally. Next slide, please. The second thing you could do is volunteer with us. You could come and join us as we visit schools. Particularly, uh, we really appreciate help with Explore. Maybe you think, oh, I'd like to come and check out what's happening at St. Peter's in January. You'd be very welcome to come along. There are opportunities there to interact with children, but also opportunities we set up and pack down. So whatever level of confidence you have in interacting with children, there are roles that you can become involved in. We also need help with resources. We do lots of crafts activities with the children. And we always need arcs, boats, sheep, things like that cut out. We also need hearts knitted. So if you'd like to help us with any of those bits and pieces, let me know. You can, of course, do that in your own time, in your own homes. You can see on our screen a picture of our trustees team. They would love to expand the team. We need more people who are in education or who have children in education. And if you're neither white nor female, you'd be especially well. Finally, of course, we'd love if you were able to give. We're a small charity that needs ongoing support. Your kind support as a church makes a huge difference to us. We're currently employing three part-time schools workers, but this will drop to two before Christmas as our current giving can't sustain all three. So that's a, a sad change that's taking place for us but we're confident that God is good and will lead us on. Maybe none of those feel like the right opportunity for you or for your church at this time, but there might be opportunities that you've seen that we haven't noticed yet. Opportunities for us to partner with you. If you want to explore how you can be more connected to your local schools, or use some of our ideas and resources yourselves. Just get in touch. Maybe you just want to share faith with your own primary school child, grandchild, godchild. Is there any ways that we can partner and support you as we together reach out and share our love for Jesus with children? Please just be in contact, let us know. That's all I wanted to share with you this morning about what the schools trust. But today the reading was about putting our faith into action. And so we're going to spend a little bit of time now praying about putting our faith into action in several areas of our lives. You've each got a pipe cleaner, hopefully. And that's because at what the schools trust, we use pipe cleaners for all sorts of different things. But we love to do things that are creative things that engage our hands as well as our hearts and our minds. So we're going to use our pipe cleaner as we pray this morning. 
So first of all, we're going to spend some time praying for schools. And schools um, are a place where you ask lots of questions. So if you are able, try and turn your pipe cleaner into a question mark. Something like that. We don't mind how advanced your efforts are. We're just having fun. Let's pray for our schools. Father God, we pray for the schools, staff and children we know who are local to the church or known to us individually. We ask your blessing on the staff and children of Warrendale, Oxy Wood and Greenfields Primary School, as well as the schools that come to mind. We pray for, pray for children known to this church. Help them manage well the challenges of growing up in this age. Fill their hearts with your truth. Help us to put our faith into action, encouraging and pointing them towards you. Amen. Next, we're going to pray for what the schools trust. So um, we can turn our pipe cleaner into a W. That's nice. I can see some nice skills going on. Father God, would you bless what the schools trust? that the message shared in schools this year would reach the hearts of staff and pupils, that all would know your great love. Guide the trustees in their decision-making and provide for all the financial needs of the trust. Help us to put our faith in action, supporting what the schools trust and other charities as you lead us. Amen. Realise that when I talked about what was when I talked about um, the things that have been happening in our, our charity, I forgot to mention that we recently um, had the wonderful thing happen of um, getting our own office space. So for the first time in the trust's history, we've got a um, prefab building that's been put on um, North Bushy Baptist Church's land. And we are able now to use that as our permanent office. And that's been an amazing blessing for us that um, came at the end of the summer. And um, we had a wonderful dedication and celebration service for that in October, um, which some of you might have been able to join us at. But yeah, that was that was really positive. I've got to mention that. And I don't want to, I don't want to leave that out. Okay, let's carry on our prayer. We are thinking now about our neighbours, so I think this time we're going to make a heart shape. So if you join your two ends together, just give them a little twist, and then just pull the middle. You should have roughly a heart shape. So mine's a bit wonky, a bit like our lives. That's all right. or roughly made a heart. Let's pray for our neighbours. Father God, we pray for our neighbours. We thank you for the good ones who make living where we do a blessing. We pray for the challenging ones, asking your peace and help to interact well with them. We ask that you would help us put our faith into action this week, noticing where we can care for and reach out in your love to them. Help us shine your light and your love in our streets. Amen. We're going to pray next for our workplaces. And I don't know what you do for work, or maybe you're retired, but you fill your days in all sorts of different ways. So this one, you have to um, make your own. 
So try and make something with your pipe cleaner, you've had a few practice rounds now, that represents what you spend your week doing, what you spend your day, your time, your energy doing. Uh, if you don't do a lot, you might want to make a cup of tea, I don't know. Maybe you're here making cups of tea for people who come into food bank. I don't know. Oh, that's sort of a mug shape. Maybe uh, if you work with children, you can make a little person. That's quite hard. I could show you how to do that if you want. You fold your pipe cleaner in half, twist to make a head, pull out an arm, pull out another arm. And before you know it, you've got a little person. So maybe if you work with people, you might want to make a little person. Oh, that looks like it makes grandchildren. grandchildren. Okay, I thought it was either that or, or snowmen. I thought you maybe work with snowmen, but I like it. Grandchildren, excellent. We've got some little people. Anyone else want to show us what they what they made? You want to hold it up? Not feeling very. Oh, at the back, a lovely heart. Thank you. That's super. F for food bank. What a great one. Thank you. A H at the back. H for... For Harry, did you say? Carrow College. Fantastic. Thank you. Wonderful. Okay, shall we pray for us in our work? Father God, we pray for our work. We thank you that wherever we work, you are with us. Thank you that you say work is good, blessing for body and mind. Help us to put our faith into action this week in our workplaces. Help us to offer kind words to those who are struggling. Go that extra mile and point to your love and care in all we do. Amen. We're going to pray for the church family. And if you're feeling very advanced, you might want to make a cross. But if you're feeling a bit more uh, basic, we'll make a fish. The original uh, early church symbol for Christianity. So if you want to make a little fish, as we think about our church family. Okay, Father God, we pray for this church. We thank you for our time together in worship. We pray for the leaders, give them wisdom, help them to be good shepherds. Bless this church as it considers William for the new minister. Help them to make a wise decision. Help us all to be good sheep who listen and put into action the things we're taught. Help us this week to notice where we can step up and step out in faith so we can shine the light of Christ in this community. Amen. And last, but by no means least, we're making the world, which is a nice, easy one because you're just making a circle. But by this point, you, you, it's quite bent now, so it might be a wonky circle. There's the world, roughly speaking. Father God, we pray for our world. We thank you for the beauty and provision you've gifted us. We thank you for your love shown in your constant sustaining of creation. We pray for the brokenness we see in our world. We pray for an end to wars, for paths of peace to be forged. We pray for courage to look to you to provide for all we need. Help us to put our faith in action, not despairing at all that is wrong, but working and loving and trusting your word that you are making all things new. In Jesus, we pray all these things. Amen. 
you are really welcome to keep hold of your pipe cleaner to twist it into whatever one maybe one of those shapes particularly spoke to you maybe something else and maybe pop it in your pocket or put it on your fridge or just somewhere where you're going to come across it and notice it this week and when you do say a prayer for one of the things that we've talked about this morning thank you very much Thank you. Thank you.